water. Well, we don't have all that clean water. People got to realize that we're going to have a situation around here soon where people are going to be really getting ill. What's it going to take to wait for people up to what's going on? A tragedy. A tragedy. It, it already happened. People cannot believe what it's like out there unless they've been out there. You have no way of fathoming. You know, you can't imagine just how bad it is. When Hooker Chemical Company built a plant in Montague, Michigan on White Lake, it was thought by many to be a savior. At a time when jobs were scarce, the chemical companies brought new hope to a fleeting economy. But what people didn't know was killing them. This is Warren Dobson. Together with his attorney, Wint Dahlstrom, he would come forth to the public with information that would perhaps save lives and ultimately alter the course of history in the White Lake area. Quitting what was then a high-paying industrial position at Hooker Chemical Company, he would take a stand that set in motion events that are still being played out today. Generally, they don't care how they operate as far as pollution goes because money, you know, as in most corporations, I guess, the biggest, the biggest interest. Uh, a commonly heard phrase around there is, this is not a chocolate factory. When we're sitting out here on a beautiful sunny day, next to a beautiful shimmering lake, is it safe? A beautiful shimmering lake is a reflection of the beautiful sky today, I'm afraid. No, it's not safe. What's Hooker putting in here? Sulfates, chlorides, C56, hexachlorocyclopendidina. They'll deny this now because they're under orders uh, by the Water Resources Commission not to put any more of the chlorinated hydrocarbons in the lake. But of course they were under orders not to do that years ago and they violated it. And C56 is, is just terribly toxic. It's the toxin in pesticides. That's what's being made over here. But the citizens weren't anxious to believe that the health of their beautiful lake and perhaps even their own health was anything like in jeopardy. After all, Hooker Chemical Company and even the Whitehall Leather Company just across the lake were both key employers in this part of the community. Any threat to those industries might also be a threat to the economic well-being of the community as well. Today in the picturesque twin cities of Montague and Whitehall, the residents thrive on their pride in their communities and the enjoyment of what is here. What do you think about Hooker Chemical? Well, I think it's been an asset to the community in spite of the drawbacks. I probably have mixed emotions about this whole thing. Convincing the citizens wasn't their only problem. They also had to convince the Department of Natural Resources, who at the time had authority over the environmental issues in the state of Michigan. I suspect that there are all, all degrees of uh, confidence in the DNR in the White Lake community. Uh, I believe they have reason to, to have improved confidence. Uh, I don't think it's any time for them to relax. I don't think it's any time for DNR to relax. I think we've got a ways to go with the hooker matter. In the past, the attitude was to try and cooperate with industry as much as possible to try and work uh, cooperatively to resolve their problems. And it worked fine for the companies who wanted to cooperate. But with the hooker chemical companies and the store chemical companies, the companies who, whose attitude was we're going to stall, obfuscate, uh, we're not going to cooperate, uh, the mechanism wasn't there to do anything once the company said no. Well, this man finally is being honest with me. Now he stopped denying things. He's going to ask me for help. And I said, I'm going to try to help him. And I don't know anything about it. That's his problem. The citizen makes his mistake by undertaking to try to solve the industrialist problem. I'm not making C5 safe. They're making it. They're the precocious people who have put this uh, fiendish little molecule together. Now let them take it apart. And it's my job as a citizen is simply to say, knock it off. That's my lady. I think that if the citizens catch on to it before government does, the citizens ought to be able to raise hell and the government ought to do something. I would like to see the government able to move on these things before it became a, a matter of citizens' concern. When the Department of Natural Resources finally conducted an investigation on Hooker Chemicals' property, they found something that would absolutely convince them that Hooker was causing a problem. A big problem. Some 20,000 barrels of toxic chemical waste had been piled high, hidden behind the trees north of Hooker's plant. 
C5-6 wastes were seeping into the ground, right into the groundwater, being carried slowly on their way to White Lake. The state ordered Hooker Chemical Company to pay for a massive cleanup operation that included moving 3.2 million cubic yards of toxic waste from the ground. On their property, they built something they called the Vault, a giant chemical landfill some 800 by 800 feet, 90 feet tall with 10 foot thick clay lined walls where the chemicals would be housed for an indefinite amount of time. Years later, after further investigation, they realized that toxic sediments were still at the bottom of White Lake, and a second cleanup, a focused dredging at the bottom of the lake, would remove even more chemicals. Was the job now finished? Would there be some hope that things in White Lake would again return to normal? What was normal, anyway? Normal in White Lake was starting to look like dealing with these sorts of problems indefinitely. I hope something comes out of this because I thought it was important enough that I, I gave up my job there. When I gave up my job, it wasn't a spur of the moment thing. I had thought about it and was angered about it and it just took that eight inch line leaking for me to make up my mind because I have obligations to people, you know. I owe people money like most people do and I have four children. People had better wake up. That's all I can say. They've been told and they've been warned. There's an illness in the community and it has to be taken care of before it becomes terminal.